Hello, and welcome to another Hextum tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at the Bulk Product Edit app, also known as BPE for short. But specifically, we're going to be jumping into the price function. This can be found on the left side navigation bar here, or on the home page. We are going to be looking at some more advanced editing techniques within the price function. Let's jump in. Now the first step is the primary filter. This is where we're going to select which products we want to edit. Now here we can see the collection is, and then it shows our available collections. Sometimes you won't be able to find your collection here, and that's because it needs to update from the Shopify side. So here we could just click Sync Collections. This will refresh the page, and you'll be able to see your updated collections here. Next, we're going to select which products we want to edit. We could pick All Products, and this would edit all the products in your store. But we're going to pick Collection is Pants. But we're also going to add another filter condition and we're going to say collection is shirts. So this will pick all the products that is in the collection pants and is also in the collection shirts. This is because the current condition here is products must match all of the following conditions. And usually products are not in pants and also in shirts. So let's preview the match products and see what comes up. As you can see, no products match our condition. So let's change it up here. We actually are going to click on all following conditions and it will change to any of the following conditions. So this means that products will come up if they are in the pants collection or if they're in the shirts collection. So now let's try previewing. There we go. Now we have a product called red shirts here and a product called blue pants. And as you can see, we have the small, medium, and large variants for both the shirt and the pants, as well as their own prices and compared at prices. Now, let's scroll down to the optional step. Now, this optional step is an additional filter that we can use to pick which products within our original filter are going to be edited. Currently, by default, our additional filter is set to all variants. So basically, everything in the first filter will go through this filter. Well, we're going to change that. We're going to change it to option value contains. Now we need to pick an option value. And here we have a size value. So we're going to say small. Now, only the small variants of these products will be edited. Now we need to decide how do we want to edit the small variants of our products above. Well, in the previous tutorial, we adjusted the price by percentage. So now we're going to adjust the price by amount. So let's say just for example, let's try to decrease the price of our products by $4. And we're also going to round it to the nearest decimal just to make it look nice. And we also want our compare price set to our original price. So if our original price was $4.99 and it's being decreased to now $0.99, cents, our compared ad price will stay at $4.99. So it will show that it's on a $4 discount. So instead of clicking Start Bulk Edit Now, we're going to schedule a bulk edit. And I'll let you know why in a second. So we're going to run once, but you can run daily or weekly. Now we need to pick a time when we want this to run. And we're just going to pick about five minutes into the future. Next, and this is the reason why we wanted to schedule a bulk edit, we are going to revert the bulk task after about 72 hours. So this is essentially a three day sale. And then all of the prices that we change will go back to normal. So let's schedule the bulk edit. We can see it's scheduled now. So this is going to bring us to the scheduled bulk edit tasks page. It's going to show you everything about the task. We just need to wait about three more minutes for the task to execute. Now we can see that this scheduled task has run once. Let's go check it out. In order to find it, go to the left side navigation bar and scroll all the way down. We can click on bulk edit tasks. Here we can see our one time scheduled task. It added two products. The collection is shirts or pants, and the option value contains small. We can see that it decreased the price by $4, rounded to $0.99, cents, and set the compared at price to original. So let's check out the details. Remember that the red shirt and the blue pants had multiple different variants, small, medium, and large, except here we only edited the smalls. So we can see the old data was $9.99 for the small red shirt, and for the blue pants it was $6.99. And those have been decreased by $4 right here. And the compared at price was set to the previous price of the product. 
Well, thank you very much for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.